Everybody out there in Tour Circuit Nation, I'm really happy today to present one of my mentor coaches, Mike LeBove. I took lessons from this guy <clears throat> 27 years ago. I was a struggling that college makes me player. really old. Well, you look really good, but he's kind of getting old. But here's the thing I, t I was struggling as a college player, New Mexico State University, and one of our buddies, uh, Hans Kerstig, actually, right? He was yeah. playing for University yeah. of New Mexico. And Hans was playing really good. I said, Hans, you're playing really good. He goes, Martin, I met this guy, Mike LeBove in Phoenix. I go see him once in a while, and he's really helped me. So darn it, if my roommate and I, Brennan Little, Brennan, Brennan Little, yeah. we drove out to Phoenix back in my old the red Dodge Omni. I'm shocked we made it. Yeah. And, you know, what's funny is I've had some great coaches, but in a one-hour lesson, Mike really helped me understand some critical things. So back in the day, you know, let's just talk about that lesson. And you okay. can't remember because you've yeah. given a squillion, <laughs> right? But I was, I was the typical young guy, coach, who had the arm run off and had some bad face control. Yeah. So you helped me with kind of this connection. We hit a lot of wedges and, you know, I felt like my hand path was kind of exiting more left. So why don't you share with the viewers out there what helped me so much? Well, I mean, if you look at the, the game of golf and we think about the power sources that, that we use, it, it really comes down to three simple things. You've got, you've got a body pivot sure. that we make, whether we're playing tennis or baseball or throwing, uh, any of those sports. So you have a pivot back and forth. And then you've got some arm swing. Yeah. So when we throw or hit a tennis ball or hit a baseball, your arms are moving from this side of your body to this side. Absolutely. And if you can get those two synchronized somewhat so that they complement each other, we've got a much better chance of controlling the club face. You've also got this hand deal going on down at the bottom. So uh, a lot of times if you can get a, a student that really can feel the control of the club face, and sometimes, I don't know about you, but we have to do some things as simple as connecting the hands to the club head this close and showing them how... Uh, here's a, a closed club face. Absolutely. Lee Trevino does a good job of this, talking about how the back of the hand is the, is the face. You hit pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and how, how, how the face, some students come in with a club face like that. Some of them come in with it, with it too closed. Most of them are too open. And, and also, uh, when we hit shots, some students that are hitting the ball too high that are hitting this way or hitting this way. So just the relationship, showing them the face and the back of their left hand is huge. Absolutely. And so any of these sports that we talk about, you've got a coordination of your body pivot mm -hmm. and your arms moving from side to side and how your hands behave in concert with that. And going back to my situation, you know, and again, it was a million lessons ago with Mike, but in a simple short period of time, he helped me get away from this kind of arm runoff where I really couldn't control the face through a sense of connection. And for me, it felt like my club path was exiting a little bit more left. I could start a ball with way more reliability down the line. And it helped me through the rest of my college season, it actually helped me through the rest of my, my playing days. Right. You know, so that was, that was really good. Hit a, hit a wedge for us, coach. Okay. I'll attempt. So take notice where his hands didn't go. His hands didn't go straight down the line. I can't tell how many amateurs come out to say that well, we just want to go straight down the line. Is the swing go straight, coach? Any sport that we play like that, even you think about tennis, hitting a tennis shot, the arms swing off to the left. Baseball Absolutely. swings off to the left. A uh, second baseman picking up a ball to throw goes off to the left while the ball's going straight. You know, and so that simple lesson, that wasn't crazy technical. He gave me that knowledge back 27 years ago and it helped me play better golf and I know it's gonna help you play better golf. So this is Martin Chuck with my guest mentor, coach and friend, Mike LeBeau. Put her there, pal. Thanks for coming out. Really means a lot that you came right. out and see me. Thanks, Martin. Thanks for watching.